Greetings, my brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. I want to welcome you today to the radio broadcast ministry of Matters of the Heart with your radio host, Princess Denise Wright, along with my co-host today, Bishop Judy Rivers of today's New Revelation ministry. What a blessing it is to be in the studio today to give God the honor, the praise, and the glory. What a beautiful day it is. And we just want to thank you listeners for tuning in to the broadcast today. We pray that you will keep it locked right here for the next uh, 60 minutes. We're going to be on um, for 30 minutes for our first segment. And then uh, take a little break and then come back with part two. So keep it locked right there. Before we begin our program today, we would like to welcome the ministry of the Holy Spirit this morning to cover this program for the words that are going to be spoken through the Word of God, for the uh, inspirational comments that are going to be made. And we're just praying that um, God's Shekinah glory just cover this broadcast today. And we pray that all of you that are listening will receive an impartation into your heart and soul through the Word of God today. We got some great announcements coming up later in the program. But as we go forth right now, we're going to have this anointed man of God, my dear friend, Prophet Brian Anderson Sr., to welcome the ministry of the Spirit of God into the midst of this broadcast today. Prophet Brian, would you go ahead and lead us in anointed prayer today for our radio audience? Amen. Uh, thank you, Prince Denise. Uh, for those who know the word of prayer, just if you're able to, just kind of bow your heads and just kind of get into a silent mode. Heavenly Father, we come right now, Lord, before the throne of grace, Lord. We thank you, Father, for seeing your best now, Father, be remission for sin for us in this present evil age, Lord. Lord, we thank you so much, Father, for all you've done for us, Lord, and we thank you in advance for all you're going to do. And, Lord, right now, as we get ready, Lord, to share into your word, Father, thank you for, for giving us the space, Father, and, and allowing us, Father, to write, divide your word, Father, share with your people, Lord, Father, for their soul salvation, Lord, get people delivered in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we pray right now, Lord, that you, Father, teach us how to, how to, how to make room for you, Lord. We got so many things in our place, Lord, jobs, Father, uh, businesses, Lord, children, relationships, Father. Father, we, we, we only make a small space for you, Lord. Father, teach the Lord how to make more room for you, and those things will take care of themselves. Father, teach us, Father, how to clean our playoff, Father, and, and just let you, Father, take charge of our lives, Lord. And, Father, right now, Lord, just change minds, change hearts, Lord. And, Father, we begin the spirits right now to seek to do anything, Father, but serve your people. Father, we pray against any spirit of retaliation, Lord, because we are giving you praise and honor and glory right now, Lord. Mm -hmm. And, Father, right now, Lord, set our minds right now, Lord. Yes, Empty yes, us, Lord, yes. right now, Lord. Yes. Empty us, Father, so you can put something in us, Lord, right now. Yes. Father, give us your rainbow word right now. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Yes, Lord. And, Father, allow us, Father, men to your people, Father, for the next hour. In the name of Jesus, we ask and we pray this, Lord, humbly. Amen. Let the church say amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Prophet Brian Anderson, for that anointed prayer. And we want to keep it moving in the name of Jesus. Those of you that today are out there listening, you know, I know that when you tune into the station, a lot of time you're loving the great music, whether it's... Um, uh, rhythm and blues, or whether it is Jamaican, or I don't know. Donald, do you have any country and western on here? <laughs> country and western. Um, <laughs> 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 okay, I got this reggae though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I thought I'd throw that in there. What about jazz, uh, Donald? We do have jazz. Okay. This is a station of everything, highly diverse. Ooh. <laughs> Well, so no wonder our listeners are out there all tuned in. Well, that's a good thing about it. We don't know who's out there listening. All we know it is plenty of folks out there tuned in to this, um, this station, 99.1 FM on your radio dial. The Bird, as uh, 
they say. I, uh, a lot of people say, yep, the bird, the bird, the bird. It's the bird, mm -hmm. like St. Petersburg. <laughs> the bird, <laughs> B-U-R-G, yeah. So uh, it is such a good thing that uh, Mr. Jackson uh, is the program manager, general manager of this. And uh, what a blessing mm -hmm. that God opened Amen. this door for him to go forth in the name of Jesus. Donna, was this one of your dreams of a lifetime, or how did this come about? Yes, it was one of my dreams of a lifetime. In fact, I've been in the radio from back in the 70s. And when I came here, I tried to get into radio again through WMNF. Tried a yes. few things with them. I was also WTMP and WRXB, WTAN. Oh, <laughs> so I, Lord. I mean, oh, my and then, goodness. And I, <laughs> yeah, when, but they were um, XYB also, AM. And so, you know, well, I got to pay. And, uh, you know, I, I, it was costing me too much. So I went into internet radio. Yes. And I was with Internet Radio until I saw the window for this one came Amen. up, and I went right into it. Got it. Isn't that something? And Amen. there's a, and Amen. there's a, um, and, and there's two uh, individuals in the studio with us today. Same vision, where they've uh, gone forth in the name of Jesus Amen. to make it happen with Prophet Brian and my Amen. video guy, Mr. Al Christopher. Mm -hmm. So Internet Radio, you're getting the job done. You're out there providing. Um, uh, good programs, good music for those to listen that they can all they got to do is tap on the phone and there we go. It's mm -hmm. up and it's, it says up and going, up and running. And uh, so we just thank God for you all with your vision, your dreams, and that God uh, brought them forth according to his divine will and in his perfect timing. So keep it moving, Mr. Jackson. Keep it moving. So today, we have a special topic for you today that we're going to be talking about. And this is what God put in my spirit um, on yesterday. We're going to talk about, won't God do it? Now, those of you are out there that are saved and filled with the Holy Spirit, you know what I'm talking about. And those that also know God, and maybe you just accepted him and, you're in the process of growing and being elevated in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So when you've gone through so many things and you look back and wonder how I got over, you know that it could not have been nothing short of our Lord who brought you through. And that's why, as the topic discussion says, won't God do it? Because God loves you. God provides for you. God heals you. God knows what the desires of your heart is. God is your all in all. There is nothing you should be doing right now without ever taking a second, a minute, or the time to say, Thank you, Lord. I will, as Marvin Sapp said, Never could have made it. You never could have made it without the help of the Lord. And I want you to know, my sisters and brothers, sometimes people really do think that they are doing it. It's like they wake up in the morning. My alarm clock woke me up at 8 o'clock. Well, I'm here to tell you it really was not your alarm clock. It appeared it was your alarm clock, but it was our Lord that touched you and called your name. And he awakened you so that you could hear the alarm clock. And the good news is that he called your name and he did not call your number. Think about that. He called your name today. He did not call your number. And that means that he didn't call you to leave from this place called earth and to come into his presence in the heavenly spiritual realm. So that's the good news. So if you didn't know that, share that with someone else throughout the day and call them and saying, I give thanks to the Lord for calling my name today mm -hmm. and not my number Amen. in Amen. Jesus' Amen. name. Praise, Won't praise God, God do it? I'm going to let, I'm going to let, I'm going to give this to Bishop Judy. She can start it off and I'm going to have her pass the mantle 
on over to Prophet Brian, and we're going to tag team on this right now. Amen. Let's keep it Amen. moving. Amen. All Amen. right, Judy. You started out. something. <laughs> and you know what? You had no idea <laughs> when you ended what you just said. It was for a perfect reason. I promised someone I would call out their name. All right. Three times today. All right. First time. Ramona. We'll get back to you in a minute. <laughs> But God be with you, sister, because we are truly led by the Spirit of God. And I don't even know why I got that assignment, but that was the last assignment I got en route here that really? I had to call out that young lady's okay. name. And I'll give you the story on that a little bit later okay. on. Okay. But I want to thank him for being so, oh, omnipresent, omniscient, almighty. I mean, he is yes, just right yes. on it this morning. Yes. We've been on fire anyway. Yes, we have. Prayers, we on, always on have to get lit on fire before we come in. I know. <laughs> I know. Listen, we've got some things to cover today. And, and believe it or not, all things have purpose in this earth. Yes, for they do. God. For a reason. He says in his word in Psalms 100, make a joyful noise. Amen. Amen. Does he not say that? Amen. Psalms 100. One. Make a noise Make a joyful noise to the Lord. Noise noise to to the Lord. Lord. Well, All ye I, land. I'm telling you, I want to share something with you because I'm, I'm going to lead into uh, a, 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 a moment with a friend. But there is a dynamic opportunity for us to hear some joyful noise tonight. Tonight, October 12th. Tonight. 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 It is going to be at the Manhattan Casino. It's going to start early, yeah. Yeah, he, he's on the line right he now. Is. Okay. And he's got to go. I'm going to put on the line right now Real for quick. you. Okay, good. A young man in Christ by the name of Henry Ashwood. He has worked with me in music at some of our churches. And I have such great um, praise for him because mm -hmm. God has blessed him with a dynamic gift. And I want him to tell you about this event that's, gonna, that's entitled Jazz on the Deuces. All right. And he makes a joyful noise. He plays some of the most beautiful music. And only God can gift you like that. You can want to do things all you want. You can want to play the piano. You can want to play the bass, the drums. But this man plays a horn like nobody's business. And he has gathered together some of the greatest jazz musicians in this area. And some who people don't know, they have played in church with me. And this is why we're supporting them because of the fact that the presence of the Lord is with them in the gifts exactly. and also in their service. Yes. Henry, are you on the line? Yes, I am. Praise yeah. God. Well. Hello, Mr. Henry Ashwood. How you doing? Hello. I am doing good. I want to give you an opportunity to share with the listeners today a little bit about the jazz event. It starts around 6 o'clock tonight. Actually, it starts a little bit earlier, right? Yes, it actually starts well around 5.30. We open the doors at 5 o'clock, 5.30. Um, everybody will be getting in place. And uh, actually, at 6 o'clock is when the music starts. There's going to be some history uh, between 5.30 and 6.15. Okay. So um, mm. the history of uh, the 22nd Street cargo. Okay. And, uh, yeah, and, and, and of course, the, the Manhattan Casino. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's at 642 22nd Street South, before I forget to say the address, yep. at 642 22nd Street South. There's a lot of music going on in different places today, too. Can you share some of that with us? Because you're playing somewhere else a couple of places today, too, outside of the jazz event tonight at the Manhattan Casino, right? Yes, they have a, a, what they call a jazz hop. And um, this is something that's going to be, well, actually, it's the first, they do a pot walk a trolley every second Saturday that mm -hmm. goes to different um, art galleries. But yes. what's different this time is they're going to have what they call a jazz hop, because now about five, six of the different art galleries mm. will have jazz bands in them for free. Um, and you can get on the trolley here at the Manhattan Casino and go to the other um, galleries at no cost, and all the other bands are free. Now, at the Manhattan Casino, we have a special uh, setup here. We have uh, Fred Johnson, who's mm -hmm. going to play from 6 to 7. We oh, got man. Sean mm -hmm. Brown. Okay. Sean okay. Brown is going to is going to be playing wow. from 7 to 8. And um, from 8 to 10, we have Mr. Jeremy Carter, who is a John Coltrane 
<laughs> uh, disciple, if you will. Okay. And he's going to be playing from 8 to 10 here on the same stage at the Manhattan Casino. Okay. And after that, all the other jazz bands are at different galleries are going to come over here from 10 as, as well as myself. Uh, are going to come over here at 10, and we're going to have a, a pro jam session like they used to do in the old <laughs> At the old Manhattan Casino, right? Yeah, the old Manhattan. Yeah, definitely. So it's going to be now, pretty big. Now, pretty I don't know big. nothing about them times. My mom and my dad, that was their time. <laughs> and the, the, the Manhattan and the Deuces were, that was the place back then. Okay. Hey, listen, and, okay. and those some of those musicians, James Suggs, John Lamb, Michael Ross, Paul Gavin, Ben Winkler, Butch Thomas, Larry Camp, and there's going to be some more, right? Yes, yes. Um, let me see. We've got Paul Gavin. We've got uh, Larry Camp. Um, it's a lot Henry of folks. Ashwood. Yeah, yeah, Henry <laughs> Ashwood, of, of course. And Henry, you're the one coordinating this event, and we want to give you credit because you've done a great job in trying to get out there, get the information to people. I even shared... Uh, 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 a free ticket. Now you're going to have to listen to Brian's station, which is the base B A S S. It's an internet radio <laughs> channel. He's giving away free tickets. Now y'all not need to get in in contact with How him. How many free tickets? He's going to give away. Well, we don't know, but we just you just need to listen and call in the Brian station because I gave the comp tickets to Brian. But God is doing great things for you, and I know this is something that has been in your heart for a long time. Yes, it has. As a matter of fact, as, um, a couple of years ago, we were going to do the same thing. I wanted to have a jazz festival, if you will, mm -hmm. here on the south side, because there's enough talent here to do that. Um, so we're calling this the 2019 Jazz Celebration at the Manhattan Casino. All right. That's the name. And that's right. tonight, jazz October 12th, or this Saturday, October 12th. Yeah, um, tonight. Okay. Well, well, I say that because we got a podcast and that might not come out for a couple of days, so I don't want people to be running down there on Monday night talking about oh, okay, okay. <laughs> But it's okay. It's Saturday night, October 12th. That's the 2019 tonight. Tonight is the night. St. Pete Jazz right Celebration. To tonight is the night. Okay. Absolutely. Henry, <laughs> Henry I, I, I want to thank you for taking the time because I know you're busy today. You're going to be playing all over the St. Pete, Tampa Bay area, and I know that you're trying to coordinate the things for the Jazz on the Deuces tonight at the Manhattan Casino, 642 22nd Street South. Mm -hmm. and I want to thank you for, for being online with us and for sharing mm -hmm. with us a vision and a dream. And you said this might happen again, right? Uh, yes, we're going to try to make this an annual thing. Also, I'm trying to get it set up to do a first Friday jazz concert and dance here at the Manhattan Casino, which wow. I did a few years ago. Well, you, you uh, by the way, yeah, Henry, I just want to say I'll be playing at the um, Duncan McClellan Art Gallery from yes, 8 until yes. 9.30. 8 to 9.30, so, 8, from 8 to 9.30 tonight, jazz, Saturday night, okay. Yeah. And they're going to have a jazz trolley that's going to all the different museums that's going to stop at each museum where there's a band, and that's free. Free. And you can just walk in and just get your jazz on. Mm, mm, yes, mm. you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> Henry, Henry, I just want to say something to you. Uh, this is Princess. Uh, let's yes. see. Um, it was, it was, was it every bit of two years ago that you used to have that first Friday at the Manhattan? Was that, you say, two years yeah. ago? Yeah, yeah, it's about three, about two, three, about three years ago, it's yeah. It's been it was, three. Okay, I remember I mm, truly enjoyed mm. that because Renita always gave yes. me a free ticket. I guess you gave them to her or whatever, but it, was, mm -hmm. but, but it was great. Are you still playing uh, jazz at the Shore Acres Nursing Home? Yes, I do that uh, at least once or twice a month. I don't have a steady date, but um, once or twice a month I, I play at uh, different nursing homes. Yeah, Shore Acres as well. I play at the um, Apollo uh, as well. Okay, and, um, Apollo, okay. Yeah. Yes, I just wanted to bring that to the attention of our audience because I know the jazz that you're bringing forth to the deuces and, like you said, the um, galleries that are in that area, mm -hmm. which the only one I'm familiar with is the Duncan because that's where I went mm -hmm. to hear you one time, but I was mm -hmm. not familiar with the other ones. 
uh, in the area, but that's really good. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to say, and I just want them to know, Yep, you're one of the greatest jazz artists here in the Tampa and Bay listen, area. And listen, not only oh, does he pecan. play pecan. <laughs> for these adults at the jazz opportunities and also at the nursing homes, he plays for the wee ones at the nurseries. Henry spreads his gift around. He has some nurseries that he goes that he'll go to pre case <laughs> and he <laughs> actually teaches that. yeah at the nursery at the nursery yeah, like we train them up in the way that they <laughs> must go that's what the word says Brian that's right. okay. so they could get their jazz so they can get their jazz <laughs> on so their musical insight can be gifted and rounded he is out there trying to train up our children which nurseries yeah. which nursery schools do you share your gift with Henry oh my goodness well i work with um the Starling Daycare. Okay. All right. uh, On yeah, 28th Street South. With, uh, um, yes. Dolores M. Smith. Okay. Uh, at her daycare, I do that um, once a month. Oh, no, I'm sorry, once a week. And I also work, like I said, at the uh, Starling Daycare once a week. That's such okay, a blessing. Good. That's such a good, blessing. Good. You know what? We have to do that. The Bible says, go ye and make disciples of men. Amen. And I'm whatever sure. the gift Amen. that God has given you to do that with, you're truly using yours. And I want to commend you on every effort, and especially on the event for tonight. We want to thank you for being online with us today. And I hope those who go out there and enjoy the jazz on the deuces will get to see you as you perform with all of these great talents tonight. And I want to thank you again for just taking the time to share with us this morning. God bless you, sir. Well, Henry, thank you, so much for you keep me. it yes. moving in the name of jazz, okay? Thank you, thank <laughs> you. Name of Jesus. I don't know any minute of that, but I know that God is behind it. Amen. Well, that's his gifting, so that's yes, why is. I'm calling it out. Keep Amen. it moving in the name of the jazz that you're doing in the Tampa Bay area. Amen. Praise so God. you be blessed, Henry. Hope to see you Lord, soon. You. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are thankful that we had a Brother Henry Ashwood on with us about the Jazz on the Deuces. Yeah. And we've got some time. We need to have our technicians update us on the time that we've got right now because we don't want to be more? disobedient. Yeah. We've got about six minutes left on this, on this segment of Matters of the Heart, Princess. Well, we're going to, since we only have six minutes left, let's go ahead and go with um, a couple of announcements and get those out of the way. Now, when we come back for part two, mm -hmm. we're going to be tag teaming on our subject. Okay. Okay. All and right. so we're going to need, you know, we're going to probably spend 50, 20 minutes or so or 25 minutes on that uh, for this, since we did not conclude it uh, for the first segment here. Okay. So, all right, Judy, if you got announcements, I have then another pass announcement. it on to I Brian have, yes, and I let will. him make his announcement. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not going to take very long, but I've got a message from one of our sons in Christ. We've worked with him several years. Rodney Barnes, Minister Rodney Barnes, mm -hmm. sent us, and last year we took you to that production, and I know you had a great time there. Oh, yeah. Their Definitely. church, their church, Calvary Church, mm -hmm. is having another event, and this is yes. at 615 113th Street in Seminole. Okay. That address is 6155 okay. 113th Street in Seminole. Mm -hmm. On November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, which is a Friday, Saturday, and a su Sunday, mm -hmm. they're going to have another production of Judgment House. We went there. Oh, this that is, sounds good. Oh, yeah. We went mm -hmm. through it last year. And this is a walking production where mm -hmm. you walk from scene to mm -hmm. scene. The scene doesn't change. For, for you, you changed from scene to scene. And boy, it was fantastic. It was you're going to go inside and you're going to have outside living and amazing performances about bullying this year. That's their theme, about uh, bullying. bullying. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is a night that we offer for, uh, our Calvary offers for those who want something alternative to Halloween. So we got about four minutes left. That's all I want to say about that event. It's going to be November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at 6155 113th Street, Calvary Church. Go to Judgment House. You will enjoy, family, families will enjoy the gift of God that they have in this production. Brother is Brian, it free? Amen. It's free. It's F-R-E-E. -E. Okay. All you got to do is sign in. Free. And they're going to they're gonna walk you through. It's a beautiful, beautiful free, production. Free, free, free indeed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Prophet Brian. Yes, uh, thank you, Prince Denise. Uh, I just want everybody to know that uh, I want to thank God. I, I pray to God to give me a marketplace. 
Mm-hmm. I said, Lord, I said, I want to do something. And so yes. the Lord, in my Absolutely. spirit, the bass radio has been in my spirit, I can tell you honestly, um, since 1988. Wow. I was 15 years old. And I always wanted to have a radio oh station called the bass goodness. radio. Uh-huh. I had thought no more of it at the time. So in the last five years, God brought it back to my spirit. Yes. So when God when God blessed me to have a Richard C. Gass, me, I helped Richard get up radio off the ground, which is Undignified Praise mm. Radio, 24-7 mm. of, the, of some of the stellar world in the gospel music. Yes. I had a chance to be part of that. And um, God just kept putting my spirit. I said, Lord, so, but then God brought me to the ministry. Mm-hmm. God saved my soul, delivered me, mm-hmm. and got me preaching his word. And I said, yes. okay, Lord, yes. what you want me to do, I'm going to do it. Okay. But God brought it back to me again. I said, okay, Lord, I want the marketplace. So here we go again, base radio. <laughs> so I had no money. God has not forgotten. I had no resources. God has not forgotten. Yes, yes. And the thing was, God said, start moving. I'll provide what you need. Yes. As I started moving, God started putting things in place. Put Amen. things in place. Put things in place. So on next Saturday, we have the soft lunch party of the base radio. Yay. Now, if you if you see the base radio, it's an acronym. It's B-A-S-S. Mm-hmm. Basically, it stands for, that I said I'm going to share this, but people can <laughs> ask me, why you got an acronym? It stands for Brian's and Soul Station. <laughs> so that was Yay the base. God. That was the base <laughs> stands for. Yeah. And understand, for 30 years, I never knew what it meant. Wow. So but God, he gave, he God, gave, God gave it to me. Yeah. Oh. So basically, all it is is that I'm sharing some great music, and uh, I have a segment called The Bass Mint, M-I-N-T, mm-hmm. and all it is is rare R&B, just some good music. It wasn't no chart, chart toppers, but it was good music. Amen. And I'm walking you back down memory lane one song at a time, and I'm covering from the 50s to the 2000s, but next Saturday, October 19th, at the Name Your Men Center, we're having a soft lunch party. Free buffet courtesy of Nisi's Got That Soul Food. And where oh is it going to be? You better tell us because you got less than a minute uh, and a half. Okay. Four, four, seconds. 4308 6th Street South in St. Petersburg. If you need information, give me a call. 727-557-7518. And you can give me a call by tickets. But once again, we'd love to see you there. It's an 80s party. 80s. So dress 80s. It's an 80s soul party. So dress in the 80s. And come on, have a good time and help me launch the base radio. And that's 43, 43, 4308, 6th Street, South St. Petersburg. We start promptly at 7 p.m. until midnight. Okay, praise God. Now, yep. we have less than a minute in the broadcast. We're going to let you just kind of roll us out. Okay, Francis. well, we're going to, okay. All right, Brian, you covered that. We'll uh, make one little mention of the last two minutes of the program uh, right. just to come back with that. Thank you. Okay. We're ready to uh, take us on out for part one of Matters of the Heart radio broadcast. Just keep it locked right there. We'll be back in about three minutes or so. So be blessed. We'll come back now. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Radio. 99 Gems. The Berg. Everything must change. Nothing stays the same. Everyone will change. No one stays the same. The young become the old, mysteries do unfold. For that's the way of time, nothing and no one goes unchanged. There are many things in life you can be sure of, except rain comes from the clouds, sun lights up the skies, and hummingbirds do fly. When it turns to spring, the wounded heart will heal, but never much too soon. Nothing stays the same, but everything must change. This message brought to you by your friends from Creel Funeral and Cremation, CreelFuneralHome.com, 727-896-2602. Gospel 